Floosh, chi sun, kanawi masaga. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's George here. I am contacting you from your brand new classroom, also known as the spare room at my house. Uh, things have been pretty different for me, as well as every one of you, I would guess. Um, right now, uh, Tribal programs are closed and we're doing our best to reach out to everyone through online programming. Um, this is due to the COVID-19 or the novel coronavirus. Um, I just wanted to share a few things about uh, COVID-19 with you kiddos. Uh, the first is just why we are staying at home and trying to self-isolate. Right now I'm self-isolating at my house, it's myself. Uh, my girlfriend, Jessica, who gets to work from home. Uh, my dog, Jake, who gets to live at home. And technically, this is his house now. And Lola. You'll probably be seeing some of them sooner or later. Anyway, COVID-19, or the novel coronavirus. So the issue with COVID-19 is it gets people sick, and it gets some people sicker than others. Uh, usually, uh, it affects people that have maybe... Uh, conditions that they already have, or if they're just really old, like my mom. So uh, what uh, everyone in the country and the world is trying to do is what's called self-isolation. Uh, I'm going to share a little bit about uh, the do's and don'ts of COVID-19 that I'm using from Governor Kate Brown as I live in Monmouth, and that's where we're from, or I'm from. So stay at home, save lives. Do stay at home as much as possible. Kids too, it actually says that. Do stay at least six feet away from others at any time you are out. So even if you're going down to tribal housing, uh, you should be staying six foot away from your friends. Do go out, but only for essentials like groceries or medical care. Do exercise outside. So like hiking or biking or skateboarding, but only if you can stay six feet away from others. So no shooting b-ball guys. Do have video and phone chats. Do drop off food to neighbors who can't go out, but don't gather in groups. Don't get together with friends, no drinks or dinners. Don't have play dates for kids. That's you guys. Don't make unnecessary trips. Also, don't bug George. That's a rule from the governor, too. It just doesn't say it on the list. Uh, so while this is happening uh, around the community, different things are open and different things are closed. Uh, the K-5 classrooms are closed. So I was able to get some of the stuff to bring it home to help teach you guys, if you notice the castle back here. Some things that might be open in your community are grocery stores, banks, pharmacies, restaurants that do takeout, and some other stores like gas stations. But a lot of things are closed, like malls and uh, fitness places, schools, theaters. And in my town, even the playgrounds are closed. Some of the ones we go to uh, in the summer have all of their play structures closed. And I might share some pictures of that later on. Anyway. All of this is to do what is called flattening the curve. So basically, if a lot of people get sick at one time, the curve is big. And then it's hard to make sure that we have enough stuff to help all those people. So by staying away, people are still gonna get sick. Uh, I don't know anyone that's gotten sick yet, but it's probably gonna happen soon. But if we're able to, instead of having a really big spike in people being sick at once, if we're able to just have a few people get sick at a time, it'll be a lot easier to take care of them. So because of that, we're gonna be working from my classroom here at home, and you might need some things to be prepared. For my class, you're gonna need paper, you're gonna need a writing stick, and if you don't have paper, I've been using junk mail uh, that my parents say is okay to write on the back of. And also, if you have them, we're going to be using a deck of playing cards, and we might be doing some other things as our classes progress. For my main class, I'm going to be reaching out to my third, fourth, and fifth grade monsters, and we're going to be reading a book by C.S. Lewis called The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. We'll read a couple of chapters 
a day and there will be an assignment for some vocabulary words as well as some uh, questions about it. But I might also do some math and some other things and keep an eye out. I might do some kind of prize system for people that are participating. Prize system. Also, if you notice, I have my prize. Whoop, what do I have here? I'll have this here uh, and we'll draw out of the bucket to see who our lucky winners are. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm just doing my best to learn how to use this technology so I can yell at you guys even when you're at home. So stay home, wash your hands a lot, uh, stay six feet away from others, and don't pick your nose. Thanks, guys. Off to keep us older.